prophet Ezekiel saw wheels within wheels. Wheel within a wheel, way up in the middle of the air, as the spiritual goes. And that is life. We are all both spokes on a wheel and also the hub of a wheel. Wheels within wheels. We learn something about the whole wheel when we ourselves take upon ourselves being a hub. There is the wheel for which we are a hub. And as we take that on, we learn something about the hub of the larger wheel in which we participate. I think that that's how it goes, practically speaking. Does it not? Up to that point, we're looking at whatever represents the hub to us and questioning and wondering why are they doing what they're doing? And then when we ourselves take responsibility for being a hub, it's like, oh, I get it. (laughs) We see something more and we understand something more about the whole picture of the wheel, the wheel of life. I want to consider with you some of the factors about being the hub of the wheel for the wheel that we're responsible for and at the center of our own life, our immediate world. I was thinking of the matter of courage. Sometimes there's a courage in going. You're called to be someplace, to go do something, and there's a courage to go and do it. There can even be a courage in leaving the place where you are. It's not good for you to be there. It's not healthy for you to be there. And it might take courage to leave that unhealthy situation. So acknowledging those things, I want to acknowledge another kind of courage. It's the courage to stay. The courage to be here. The courage not to move. The courage to bring the presence of who you are into your world exactly as it is. Consider the sun relative to the planets. Is the sun moving? It might be moving in some kind of infinitesimally small kind of way. But essentially, the sun, relative to the planets, is staying still. The planets are revolving around the sun. When we come around in our revolution annually, we're not wondering if the sun is going to be in the same place. It's there. It's holding its gravity so that the world around it, the solar system, can revolve around it. Praise the Lord. But there are wheels within wheels. We think of the sun and we think of the planets and we think of it as absolutely stable. I don't know about your grammar school, but mine had a little model. And and it showed that planets revolving around the sun. So we think of it as being stable, and that's a very simple thing to hold in your head. Sun is just sitting there. The planets are going around. That's not actually what's happening, of course. We are, as a solar system, following the sun as it moves through the galaxy, through the Milky Way, at some fantastic speed. And the planets are, are, yes, revolving but revolving around an ever-moving sun. The sun is demonstrating right movement, just as the hub of the wheel is spinning around, or the rim of the wheel is spinning around the hub. That's a right movement. But the hub is not moving 
relative to the rim. So the sun is demonstrating that there's a right reason to go, a context in which we move. And then there's a context in which we do not move. We are here, here for our world. <laughs> 